Um, architecture school is a really strange, specific environment that, um, I mean, I guess it kind of prepares you for the real world of, you know, an actual profession where you put in a lot of hours on details or buildings that may or may not get built or may not, may not matter. I think architecture school is maybe really unique because it's probably the only time that many of architecture students get to work on their own projects because after that it's, you know, it's, architecture is basically a service industry, you know, say what you want, but there's some rich person saying, I want neon lights on my building and you have to say no, but you'll, you might do it anyway, you know, pay the bills. Um, in general, character flaws, character traits, um, very ambitious, I would say. Um, a lot of biting off more than they can chew. A very hard worker, detail-oriented, very fussy. Um, sometimes so narrow-minded, perhaps, that uh, kind of the, the larger picture is completely gone, or, you know, how those, like, ugly buildings get made. It's like somebody, no one ever stopped and said, hey, this is a piece of shit and it's ugly, you know? No one ever did that. So I kind of think, like, focusing on something so narrow maybe is and missing the big picture is probably a big part of um, some, some architects, I just say all, I want to get in trouble. Their, their own language, I think, is a really annoying part of architecture, like uh, making up stuff, making up concepts that maybe don't mean anything per se. Um, the other day I heard uh, dramatical logics, and I was like, that doesn't mean anything to anybody except for maybe like five people who understand it, maybe. I mean, I kind of think it's like, taking concept and then putting a name on it and then that would make it important or that would make it relevant to some kind of discussion. I don't really understand it. I mean, it happens in all fields, not just architecture, but I was like, dramatical, that's not even a word, is it? Logics. Didn't realize it was plural. So, you know, kind of that kind of imbuing importance on something that may or may not make sense outside of the context of something very, very small or very, very specific. I don't know why it's taken for granted. I mean, it's something you obviously experience every day and something you do every day and use every day. So, of course, it's going to be taken for granted. I don't know why people take things for granted, though, in general. It just seems like it's going to happen. And, and if you want credit for it, you're probably in the wrong profession. You know what I mean? People take teachers for granted and nurses for granted. So, there's that. <laughs>